And this word break bad habits has been one of the one of the problems because break implies that if you put a lot of force in at one moment, like breaking a stick, it'll be done. So a lot of force, a lot of energy in one moment is how you solve it. That's not how these kinds of habits get solved. It's not about a one-time thing that gets people to stop gambling or stop drinking or stop gaming or whatever the addiction is or whatever the bad habit is. So I am proposing and explaining how a better word is untangle unwanted habits. And that then implies a process. Just like if you think of your phone headset all tangled up, wow, it looks overwhelming. You're not going to solve it just by yanking on it in one moment. But you know that if you take the easiest tangle, not the hardest, and undo that, and then go to the next easiest one, that you'll get there. Same thing with these things that we call bad habits. They tend to be things, snacking is a pretty easy example to use. So if you have a, you consider a bad habit of you know eating bad foods as a snack, it's not just one thing. It's probably there's a snack in the morning, there's a snack at lunch, snack driving home, snack in the evening, snack at 3 a.m. So it's a tangle uh, uh, that we call a habit, but really it's uh, all these habits connected together. And so you take the easiest snacking habit to stop, the easiest one, not the hardest one, and you design that out of your life. And then you go to the next one and the next one. And so I think untangling really sets the expectation much better that it's a process and really maps very well to how you look at a tangled rope or a phone head set. At first, it's overwhelming, and you're like, oh, my gosh. But then as you get started, you see it starts resolving, and then pretty soon it comes completely clear. It it untangles. And so I think that's right on for how many of these unwanted habits work.